Hakasian ke Benengkong ya hak jelab ada ke tanj telem ini lapni pat ba agro kompen ko je ke jabo ada ke robotik bot bar ke thong jo ke jing pat i pat ba kalong ban pun i ke jing jam seprang ban ban ko ya ke jabo ada ke core technology ban pendek pensa ke mariang ya ke ni ke jing pat i pat ba agro kompen ko je ke jabo ada ke robotik bot lepen long ha kendong rela mau don ha ke pung umyam bar ke ni kan long menta bro sitayo ka jing temu Jong kajing penkuat dan kebab pendan kam yakini ke robotik bot kena rap hak kemanuan rap yang ya kajing internet ya ke saudong saukun jong kampung umyam bat kena rap ru hak keman penduna ya ke jabok jabat la banong babar asyikata keladan kajing penpau ni kebabuan palang ni kajing dan kam bat penkuat ya kena kampung umyam nerai kini ke syukur nol kumpul dan bersimpat ya kini kini kesenjang nerai mentah kajing kerman kadon bani ibi yang ya kampung umyam kebukuat kumbangalong haki puar kebab mensyua Dah ke bapun kuat ya kinyot kelam dan kam ban penan kam dah ke bor jigi brio. Nerai tang dah ke bapun kinyot yang remote control jogi robotik bot. Bagi ni kila lumhi ke jabat jaban ban kuat ya ke pung umyam. Habaya keren baru bapun pencai marpana jang ke smart village movement. Ulang bapun kathong jogi kalong bapun rai ke jing kuat jing suba hagan ni ke jela. Bagi ni kadei tang ke jing persiang ban peni kum nuki kor teknologi kani ke jok bapun mentah kila aban lum ke jabat ban pun kuat. Ya kepung umyam. Ulang bagi ni robotik bot kila bantong arpau ton mandesni kijabok kibatut berlang ha kepung umyam. Kini guru kompen kuat kepen pau saya kedar berlang bagi kor teknologi kibamenta la bantun kuat bat bat pene pensa ejen kuat jong mariang. Bat aku juga kopor bat pensa priang ya ke kubor segi pat ba bagi don lem ya ke jengkit clear. Hi, so my name is Ben Shai Maaprana. I'm the project fellow at Smart Village Movement. So uh, I'm also the, the lead of this project. Yeah. Okay. So actually as a Smart Village Movement, we look for, uh, you know, for technology, for in some kind of innovation uh, where, and technology where we can solve the pain points and address uh, the challenges of the people, actually. So here, as you can see, that uh, see uh, all these ways, this is a pain point for all the, for, for the fishermen, for the community, as well as for the institution and corporation. So, uh, so we, what we do is we find out technologies, companies who, in, who have this technology that can clear, that can solve the solution, uh, I mean, the, the pain points of all the citizens. So actually, I'm, uh, as a project lead, so as a, as a project lead, uh, it, it's not, uh, it doesn't take time actually. So we just started uh, in in the yeah last year in October. So we started to you know to find some solutions. So we started from October. Then then in this month, I mean this year, we find our partner Clearbot. Mm -hmm. So with them, with their expertise, we bring in this technology again. Sure. Today we are here in Shillong in Omiyam Lake, and as you can see behind me, uh, it's quite dirty. So today we've got our robot, which is driving around and collecting the garbage out of the water. Okay. And uh, do you think, uh, or firstly, can you tell us more about Clearbot, uh, this machine or this robot that you've all uh, um, invented? Uh, what's the capacity of collecting waste and more about that? Sure. So the current version that's here today, it can pick up 200 kgs in weight and about one cubic meter in volume. And actually we have bigger versions that can do even more amount if required. And the machine can work either in radio control mode uh, and can be operated by anybody mm. or it can work in autonom autonomous mode where we set the GPS location and it can clean on its own. Okay. And it runs fully electric, so it doesn't burn any kind of fuel. Right? And uh, we can run it for about four hours on a daily basis and it collects about 200 kgs in its full capacity in terms of the waste. Mm. Looking at the waste here that has accumulated at Umiyam River, how many bo uh, clear boards will be required to clear up the waste here? We actually have a bigger version of the boat and I think yeah. with just one boat in a few months uh, we can actually clear this space up. Uh, but of course if we have more boats it's always faster. Yeah, right? so I was so saying it, uh, the more boats the better I guess it's kind of endless but um, you know we propose hey have five to ten boats yeah, and clean this up as quickly. Actually this robot is being built in Bangalore in India um, and we started in India the first time usage in Bangalore. And we're also using it outside India. So, for example, in Hong Kong, uh, there's a fleet of boats, multiple boats there. And uh, in Bangalore, we've piloted in Banaras, in Varanasi before, and also in Kerala. <laughs> so, but this is our first time in the Northeast. Uh, and this is, you know, very new technology that we're bringing here. And hopefully able to help the water condition. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think this is the first time, you know, we came here on Monday to scout the site. I was visibly shook by the amount of waste here. But, but you know, since Wednesday, we've been coming every day to clean this up. And I think this is the first time we've 
we've had to deal with so much waste, but we've also built our machines to to deal with it. So, so I hope this pilot sort of satisfies every all of the local authorities that that this robot is a feasible solution. We really hope that uh, we are able to have a robot in Shillong and yeah. clean up the lake. I hope the the government and the public will support us in our mission. So, after, so after the demonstration, we will plan. Uh, we'll uh, show to the government that this can be a very good model for cleaning the water bodies and also it can be uh, it's not like just a project it can be also it can also be a vision for a cleaner omiam lake or cleaner water bodies i want to tell everyone to please stop throwing garbage to the rivers or water bodies or in anywhere i mean uh, don't just throw to because see meghalaya is very it's very beautiful it is in fact a pride to the state, right. but if we throw garbage, uh, as you can see, yeah, we are dirtying our own homes. Yeah,